I'm sure you saw the news. We've come to the end of an era and I'm talking about East Bay. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video on Talks with TJ. And we really have come to the end of the road for East Bay. And I'll just say this, East Bay was Bay before eBay took that spot, okay? I just, I just gotta throw that out there. We can all reminisce about receiving that magazine. You were so excited. First off, that was the only mail that likely came that you were ever really excited about. But you received the mail, the magazine arrived, and this was me, okay? I can Let me know if you connect with this, okay? Magazine arrives, you rush to get it off the table with all of the mail, and you immediately plop down on the floor with a drink. Maybe you have a snack, some chips, some candy, and you lay down and you just start flipping through and you take your time. And you probably had a red marker like me to circle the things that you wanted, okay? Knowing they were likely not being bought, unless it was birthday, back to school, uh sports season christmas then that was really the time where if you circle something there was a chance that mom might place an order for you for one of those items but like nine times out of ten you were just circling the circle you didn't have any money you didn't have any income and when you did your parents might not let you blow it all on one pair of shoes and i remember my mom said you really want to blow your whole like birthday money on one pair of shoes yes i do on an Iverson mom, please, let's just go in store and make this happen. But for me, I just love going through the entire magazine. I love the clothing then, especially when it came to everything sports related. And maybe that's what I'll also miss about East Bay because quite a few of my WNBA jerseys, the brand new revamped ones, yeah, they came from East Bay and they would have amazing deals and sales on them. And you were able to find them there if they were just harder to get when it came to jerseys in general at other online retailers. So this is this is wild and if you don't believe me first off try to search anything on the east bay right now and it likely returns like no results but if you go on there they do have a banner that says like hey we are done at the end of 2022 and please feel free to shop at champ sports so foot action is no more east bay is no more the only thing constant is change change in life change in sneakers, the industry. <sighs> I'll say this, and I've seen other people touch on this. The second online shopping became the norm, not only brick and mortar, but, but um, a service based on a magazine was truly on the decline because you're not evolving. I mean, it's very similar to Blockbuster and Netflix. There's no evolution there. And that's what makes it difficult. You're still looked at as just this store. Yes, we can access you via online, but we can do that with everyone else now. So now, and, and if you know in business, you usually thrive based on being first to market, being best or being the most unique and that unique factor for them is now was was gone as soon as everything went online and i mean we see the, clearly they suffered we see brick and mortar stores also suffering because it's just about convenience can i look for what i want from the convenience of my home on my phone on the go and how you pivot in business will determine how long you're here so it is really sad it's like a part of your childhood dying it's like when toys r us closed shop and now east bay and who knows what else is on the horizon to do the same but yeah, somebody said in the comments, can anyone confirm that that they're closing? No, they're they're done. They are done. Everything changes. All good things must come to an end. But I appreciate you guys tuning into this really quick video. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.